NASA's Parker Solar Probe just accomplished something historic. After launching in 2018 and taking a rather circuitous path in order to get the right velocity and location, it passed by the sun at a speed of 430,000 miles per hour and got within 3.8 million miles of our solar system's only star. To put that in perspective, you could fly from Tokyo to New York in under a minute. And if the sun were here and the Earth, Venus, and Mercury there, this would be the Parker Solar Probe. The distances are to scale, but the sizes are not. And here, the temperature is around 1800 degrees Fahrenheit, but the probe itself is a comfortable room temperature because of its amazing heat shield created by the scientists and engineers at the Johns Hopkins Applied Physics Laboratory. So why study the sun at a cost of around $1.5 billion? Because if we don't, the cost could be much, much higher. The probe's science mission is to study the solar corona, seen here from the Earth during a total solar eclipse because the corona heats and accelerates solar winds from the surface of the sun, which do a few things here on Earth when they hit us. Number one, they're mostly deflected around the Earth by our magnetic field. But number two, if they're big enough, they give us auroras. And number three, if they're huge, they can knock out our communication, navigation, and satellite networks, and even knock out the power grids here on the surface of Earth. In other words, they can be really bad for technology across the planet and in space. So NASA studies the sun, because the more we know about how it works, the better we can prepare for something catastrophic in this world that is ever more dependent on technology and electronics. The costs of not studying your sun could be way steeper.